Okay, so now we've got our category template now. This is the product template to display all list of products in a category. We've now got it running in front of category.php, so it's going to override it. And as we could see here, we did our little test there, and we now see our template is working. All right, so let's go back over to our template file here, which we've called category-10. And it's a copy of the original category.php file. So we need to make a couple of changes here. First of all, we're going to get rid of tests there because we don't need that anymore. OK. We can ignore all of this. We're concerned with how it displays the products. And that's in the loop. WordPress uses something called the loop. And you can see it here. Start of the loop. All right. The loop loops through all the posts in a category, in our case, products. All right, so it says, while it has posts, do the next post. While it has the next post, do the next post, and so on and so on, until it loops through them all and comes to the end of the loop. So what follows after this point here, this section right in here, is the area where it's going to choose what to display. Now, in this particular case, it's actually going to yet another file to get that information. Now, in our case, we don't need to do that because we're going to put it all in here. This is a specialized category template, right? So we don't need to go and find different kinds. You can see here it says get the post format. It would go and find the particular format and put in that kind of format content there. We don't need that. Ours are all the same. So we can get rid of all of this. Now, how do we know we can do that? Because we're above this line right here, end while. That's the part that's telling the loop to stop. So in between here is where we're going to do all our work with individual products. And the first thing we need to do is we need to grab out all of those custom fields we've created. Now, there's a very nice, simple command in WordPress for doing that. And I'm going to show you over here. This is some code that I've put together beforehand. And I'm going to include all of this as working files with these explanations and everything. So the first thing we're going to do here, this finds all the values of custom fields attached to the current post. So I just grab this. It's called get post custom. That's the template tag, as they're called. WordPress template tag. I'm going to paste that in here. So this is going to go and find all of the custom fields associated with the current post that you're on. Remember, it's looping through all the posts. OK, step one, let's save that. So now we're getting all of those. Let's go back to our current HTML. For simplicity's sake, let's just grab all of this. This is what we normally had in one of our posts to create the HTML. OK, let's just grab it. We'll copy it. Go back over to our category. And let's just put it right under here. That's a nice, easy start to things, right? We already know this does what we want it to do. Now, one of the things I'm going to do, though, is get rid of the image. I'm going to delete that line that has the image in it. And you'll see why a little later on. But we don't want the image in right now. It's going to come in differently. But here's our product info class. Our div here for product info it ends there. And everything in between is our product information, right? So now, here were the short codes that we had before. So in effect now, we're going to switch out these short codes. We're going to switch them out with the custom field information that we're going to extract using WordPress. We don't need the plugin anymore for this because we're going to use template tags from WordPress to do it. Let me show you one of those right now. If I go back over to here to my conditional code that I'd set up, all right, here's one right here. Now, there's a little bit more to it, but I want to just show you this right here. Post metadata. If I copy this and I come back over to here to category 10, I can replace this, the embedded shortcode, I can replace it with this. Now, I actually need to enclose it in PHP just because we're working with HTML at this point. All right, so now we've got PHP. 
So this is now going to extract something called company name. Now we don't actually have one called company name. We have product underscore, okay? And that's where you're gonna take it from here, right? If I go back, remember it was product description. So that's the basic idea of what we're going to do. And in another video, I'll show you how we do it in detail for every one of these former short codes, which we're now going to replace with template tags.